onward now from using XPaths into creating actual transform files and using those XPaths where they go, which is inside XSL commands. The XSL commands state how to use the XPaths in order to make something specifically happen. So far, we've just been playing around with XPaths inside an instance document to see what gets returned. Well, that isn't helping us put those things that are returned into the output files, and that's what commands do. So we're going to start with the value of and the copy of commands. But before I do that, let me demonstrate how to start a new transform. So I'm, in, I'm here in, um, in Oxygen, and I say File New, or I click the, the new thing here, and I say XSL Style Sheet. I choose 1.0. That's just the one we're going to use in this class. And I say OK. And now it gives me a blank um, transform file with just one tag in it, the XSL Style Sheet. And so how I'm going to get started, and almost always how you'll get started as well, is I put a transform in there, XSL template, sorry, it's not a transform, a template, and then match forward slash. Okay, so without getting into a lot of detail about what I just did, which we could talk about for quite a while, you can think of it as just the way you do it. This is really the way that you start out a transform, and you start with a match equals forward slash because you want to begin at the very beginning of the, um, of the transform, at the very beginning of the instance. We've set our current node here, the beginning place for all of our X paths, at the um, at the root node. So now that's so that's how you start a transform, and pretty much always we'll begin that way. Um, and if we don't, I'll let you know um, the situations under which we don't. But almost all of your transforms are going to look exactly like this so far. They're always going to match that forward slash to, just to get things started. Okay, enough explanation there. Let's go on and start talking about the very first kind of tag. Um, I'm going to refer back to uh, I'm going to refer back to our instance to make sure that I don't forget to say some things. And we're going to start out with the value of command. Okay, the value of command is uh, actually let me save this first. loaders and I'm going to call it uh, very first dot XSL very first transform okay so now what do I want to transform I'm going to want to transform our sample file so here's our sample XML file and I'm going to want to use it to transform that we'll, we'll play around with how that linkage works later but I just want you to understand this is the context so we're going to be drawing tags out of this um, XML file so the very first tag for us to talk about is XSL value of so let's just look at it like that for a second the XSL value of command so you'll notice for example that all the commands have this part to them everything in the XSL notice the XSL namespace on all of these tags it's always going to be XSL and in fact when you type XSL, Oxygen already knows. Let's do that again. Oxygen gives you prompts. You say XSL, and it says, well, here's all the XSLs. You type the very first word of the command, V, and there can only be two, value of and variable. We're going to choose value of. And then it has this one attribute, select. And the, in the select tag, is going to go an is going to go an X path. So suppose I want the movie whose ID Remember this XPath. I want the movie whose ID equals what? Now let me go find the the that ID again. M E X P R. Copy it. Paste it in here. Okay. So what is that going to give me? Um, oh, and actually, that's what I really want. I want the movie whose ID is MXPR, EXPER, and then after that I want the title. This is something I didn't show you in XPaths. I, I, I should have, but I, I forgot to. Um, you can put a little bit of XPath before and after the WHERE clause. So this is going to return a movie title. It's going to return the title, but only the title of the movie whose ID is MXEXPR. Okay, so that's a little bit more about the XPath. This XPath is a little bit more um, sophisticated than the ones we did in the past. It returns the sub-element title under the movie whose ID is MEXPR. -E 
Now that's the X path, but it is embedded inside a value of tag. The value of tag is going to take the value, is going to take the title of the movie, whose ID is MXEXPR, and it's going to put it into the output file. And so far, that's all it's going to put into the output file because that's all we've said. We've just said value of title. But suppose I want that title to be in an H1 tag inside of um, inside of my output file. I would do that. Suppose I wanted my output file to be an HTML file. I might do this. head comes body remember this this is all the this is the basic structure of an HTML file and then of course I want my h1 inside of the um, inside of the body and now to clean it up I'm gonna click this little guy and now I have a full HTML page and the only thing in the body is just this h1 tag with the title of the movie inside of the h1 tag okay so look at this now suppose let me do something even fancier here and I want actually the title of the whole page to also be the title of that movie then instead of my first output I can put it here as well so now I have the title going into the title tag of the HTML page and the title going into the h1 of that same page okay so that was just a little bit more fanciness to show you how the XSL commands are embedded inside of HTML. All of this stuff in here is HTML, and we just have these two XSL commands that are drawing the appropriate title in inside of an HTML tag. So I'm mixing the HTML tags and the XSL commands. And the very first XSL command that we've talked about is this value of. We talked also about the fact that this, uh, this value of command depends on an XPath. And we have a slick little X path in here that selects the title from the movie whose ID is MXPER. Okay, that's the first thing to know about that. Um, uh, to know about that that uh, this this these XSL commands. Let me go back and figure out what next to talk to you about. Okay, that select attribute is a big deal. You find it in a lot of commands, and you'll see it's here. It's selecting the thing that you want to put the value of into the uh, into the output. In other cases, it selects other things depending on um, uh, depending on how uh, depending on the command that it's in. That select attribute you'll see a lot of times, and it'll do a lot of different things. Okay, yeah. Next thing to talk about is suppose back over here in my very first transform. I left this title off. Now, what is it getting the value of? It's not getting the value of the title. Now it's getting, it, getting the value of the movie. The value of the movie. What the heck does that even mean? So here's the movie, right? The entire tag is the movie. I've said which movie. It's M-E-X-P-E-R. That's the movie that I want. What's the value of the movie tag? Well, it turns out that the value of the movie tag is simply all the text node descendants that that movie has all strung together in one long line. So is that what you really want? No, you don't want uh, it to say M-E-X-P-E-R, -E Maya, Darren, blah, 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 and this next thing down here, all of the text nodes, if I took away all of the text nodes, oh, if I took away all the tags, basically that's what you would get. You strip out anything that's a tag, anything that's the name of a tag, and what's left is all the text nodes, and that's what you get in the output. So um, be careful. When you use the value of command, you really want to you really want to cite, you really want to name a node that only has one text node child. Otherwise, it's going to strip out all the tags that are inside of that of the tag that you selected, and you're going to get a long string, uh, a long concatenated string of all the text node values, not something that you want to have almost ever. Um, in fact, I would say, you know, I, I, I have never had need to strip out all the tags. So that's what I want. I always want to return in my value of a node that is, that's kind of a terminal node. All it has is a text node child, and that's what makes sense to have under a value of. Otherwise, it's going to take all the stuff in that tag and it's going to string it all together. 